<clears throat> oh, this is going to be a nightmare. You today. got hot water over there? No. I can't get a goddamn box of raisins. Can I, can I, Gary, I need you on this today. I know you think I'm a ball buster. I asked young Will to get me some oatmeal and a box of raisins. The raisins couldn't, I guess, happen. Raisins are on the way. Thank you. <laughs> but you need a lot of warm water. Just you need a, yeah. You to sip well. I need a lot of help. I'm, I'm, I'm honest. I'm wrecked. <laughs> And there's a water dispenser out there that dispenses hot water. You're kidding. No. Well, I don't want to inconvenience anyone. Oh. We got nine million people who work here. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, brother. Now you got a yeah, pound got of raisin. <laughs> we got to fix this floor. When you walk in, Jason, it sounds like a herd of elephants are coming in. I got to tell you. I'm sure that's my problem, not the floor. No, it's the floor's problem and your problem. How do you fix the floor now that it's done? I don't know. They they made a floating floor, which is like now I understand is the worst thing you could put in a radio studio. Yeah. When somebody walks in, I'm going home. I'll see you. I'm never going to get through this. <laughs> you look tortured. I'm tortured. <laughs> Well, you know, we could wrap up the first six minutes. See what happens. The hardest thing, the, the hardest of the six minutes. Right. The hardest thing to do is talk when you. First of all, you hear what's going on in my throat. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what can I tell you? Oh man, I'm sorry, guys. You want a devil dog? No. Oh, that'll help. That won't do it for me. <clears throat> it's comfort food. Yeah, I have a lot to say. It's just. Um, Hard to say it. You're being thwarted. Being thwarted. And I'm so gross and sweaty and clammy. It's disgusting. And on top of it, my daughter had a bat mitzvah this weekend, and I was sick as a dog. And I was no barrel of laughs there. I mean, I tried to tough it out, but... Yeah, you weren't, you weren't really uh, giving any evidence there that you were sick. You seem yeah. to be weathering the storm. You seem to be right into it for every, every yeah. need. And she was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Not that uh, she's the one who should say thank you, but I was very proud of her. Yeah, she yeah. was great. Yeah. But, um, and lest anyone think I didn't invite them to this, I, I didn't invite any coworkers except Robin. So, I know in the past I've invited everyone, but I figured it might be awkward. I didn't feel like putting on a show this year. You know, mm. it's weird when you're divorced. What can I tell you? Uh, so I didn't uh, get invited. I didn't. You know, although uh, R Sal was freaking out. I heard Why was he this. freaking out? He was writing letters to Gary. Why? Would, I heard Howard's daughter was bought mitzvah. Why wasn't I invited? Is it because I'm not Jewish? Uh, he's like, uh, he's, he is so, he's so retarded. If he's, he's not a, kidding with this, he's out of his mind. No, he wrote Gary a whole note. He well, even, Gary forwarded to me. Even on the wrap-up show, I, w I listened to most of the wrap-up show on Friday, yeah. or the, what are they calling that, the Friday show. Yeah. And it was so bizarre listening to Sal, because they redid that whole thing of Gary going to get the tissues when you masturbated and you thought you had left them. And Sal was in there saying, why couldn't I go? And every time Gary started to describe what he was doing, he said, oh, I was imagining that's the greatest toilet. That's the greatest sink. That's the, what does this look like? Oh, he's so gay. I was so embarrassed last night. I got a phone call from my Jew. I have a Jewish couple friends. You know, I have Jewish friends. Jew friends, yeah. Jew friends. You know my Jew friends. Your Jew friends, yeah. You, you always keep one of them in there just so you look like, you know, you're like you're not a racist. Yeah, right. your Jew friends. My Jew friends call because I live in Nassau County. And uh, they go, hey, d uh, did you go to Howard's Bar Mitzvah last night? And I was totally... So you don't even know it's my daughter. You think it's my Bar Mitzvah. That's how gay you are. Well, whatever it is. And I'm like, no, I didn't even know he had a Bar Mitzvah. I'm like, how come I didn't even hear about this? I was so embarrassed. I worked for you, and, I, and a friend calls, and I'm not... Yeah, it's called my personal life that I don't share with you. Well, I was just curious. Because you're retarded and gay. And even if I invited everyone from here, you'd be the last person I'd invite, because I, I would be so uncomfortable with you staring at me and observing my family. <laughs> You're Crazy. precisely the person I wouldn't invite. You know, I was invited to your birthday party. I was invited to a few scores things. I, I yeah, your and daughter. that was even a mistake. She was a she was a sweet girl, your daughter, and I thought... Yeah, and you were fawning all over her like a she, sycophant. Was he? Yeah. No, I said, she, I said you're absolutely beautiful and oh, stunning. And, and he was like, anything I can do. I mean, it's just, you know, oh, it, my it's too much. Excuse me for being polite. When my cousin was interning here, he wanted to take him under his wing. Uh, and I took care of him. I was yeah. very, very good to him. He wasn't creeped out by You're gay. Me. 
I tell you one thing, man. If you You're ever, J squared. If you ever want to spread gossip, just go to a Jewish person, man. Holy what? cow! What do you mean? <laughs> they uh, they love Jewish people. Love to gossip. I I didn't even I worked for you and I didn't even know you were having a bar mitzvah. And uh, these people are calling. You out. don't know because I purposely keep things quiet around you. Right. I don't want you to know anything about my personal life. Well, then you're missing out. What can I tell I'm not missing out on a thing. Yes, you what are. is he missing out on? We work under the same umbrella. This is a family right no, here. No, no. I work here, and I, and, and I brought you in. Right. I don't work under any umbrella with you. I'm not getting under an umbrella with you. <laughs> I'd rather be rained on. I'd rather on. be rained on than get under an umbrella with you. <laughs> All right. You're a disturbing man. You're like a child. Yeah, right. Up, whatever. Meanwhile, I was going to torture you and tell you that I invited everyone but you. Thank you. Because dude. you're not Jewish. Well, I wasn't sure because I have some Jewish friends and they always have bar mitzvahs without me. So I think it's no, like it's because they don't like you. The goys are not invited. Yeah, you're not really a friend. They don't like you. No, Robin was there. You are? Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. Would you drive your new Mercedes in there? <laughs> That's upsetting it. to you too. I can't. Yeah. I'm you, need, buy... you need a Mercedes like you need black skin, Robin. <laughs> if, it, if it upsets you, I'm going to get her 50 more cars. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate Robin, it. Robin said to me, "Why did you do this to me?" I said, "Just to upset Sal." <laughs> you know, Sal, keep being upset. <laughs> okay. You're Whatever. so gay. Whatever, dude. What's it like to be gay? <laughs> Take out your cock. I'll let you know. Yeah. I don't. Know. I'm not gay. Dude. I just. Dude, get over it. This it's isn't not about gay. you. I don't, I, don't, I don't look at you in a sexual way. My life's right? not about you. My life's about you. Yeah. Well, stop it. Get a life. In order for me to have a life, it's so. When your friends me... called you, you went into a. T do your friends were at the bar mitzvah? What did he? No, write they to knew Gary? the whole thing. It's amazing. They knew even how you arrived there, and there, and I was so. I was like, oh how man, how I arrived? How did you there? arrive? Yeah. Well, how did I arrive? <laughs> By helicopter. What? <laughs> that's what they said. That's what I said. The Jews, they got, they got some. People are Yankee, you crank, you asshole. I'm telling you, Howard. They didn't arrive by any helicopter. Yeah, he, he parachuted in. There's another Howard and Allison couple out in Nassau County that belong to the same country club that you had the uh, bar mitzvah no, at. I don't have a country club. It's your wife belongs to My ex-wife ex belongs to That's it. right. I heard all this crap last night. Right. So I'm sitting there, and I'm listening to all this, and I'm like... What do you mean? You, you heard it like you didn't want to hear it. You, you write everything down. You're, yeah, you're like you a... kept them talking. You didn't say stop right. it. Well, I wanted details. Right. I mean, you know, and, and they said you would ride by helicopter. No, yeah, I, I, I parachuted in with a tow rim, I am. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, and, I, and they told me the whole thing, and I just felt so deflated. I'm like, I worked for this guy, and I got to hear it from some Jewish couple out in Long Island, how the party was. I'm like, that's embarrassing. You embarrassed me. Why would you? Why would that? Ask yourself this: Why would it reflect on you? Because what I, I do. Because if I worked on Wall Street, my boss would probably invite me to his daughter's bar mitzvah. No, you, he wouldn't. You, you know, yeah, what guy on Wall Street ever invited you to bar mitzvah? Nobody. Zero. Exactly. So why are you lying and saying that? But if I found out Sal, about it in advance, Sal, what? I wouldn't invite you to anything. Oh, thanks. I appreciate. I, I, it. I'm being honest. I know. I, you make it the way I am. Oh, I'm yeah. being honest. All right. You go to that therapist, you're nice to everybody else. You can't break no, it. No, you can't no, open no, up no, with no. me, though. No, 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 no. No, I'm never going to have a breakthrough with you. If anything, you should feel safer around I said to my therapist, is there a way that you could make it so that I, I would want to hang out with Sal? And he says, that would be impossible. Yeah, even the doctor <laughs> I don't believe is willing that for to a say it. No, I don't believe he, he it checked for with the American Psychiatric Association and said, that's one we can't solve. All right, very good. I don't know what to tell I you. I wish Gary would come in here and remember everything you were saying on the show because he was being All creepy about what he would do, would have That's, done no, no. if he had, could have gotten to your apartment to collect the jizz rags. Robin, <laughs> <laughs> here's the deal. He said that if he would, he 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 still doesn't understand why you didn't send him. Right? right. That freaks him out because I didn't want him in my apartment. And it's like, why? Why can't I be in the apartment? I'm I'm a good worker. Because it's too important. To I'm him. a good exactly. And he said that I, I'm a good worker. I should be in your apartment. Right. And then his whole rap was that if he'd have gone there, he sees himself uh, on this show as a representative of the fan. He's like the good. average fan. That's how I see him. So he felt that if he went to the what apartment, it oh, would have been his duty. Bitch. To go through the refrigerator, yeah. go through the underwear <gasps> drawer, right. go through your desk, and tell the fans what was in there. You know why? It would have made for a great on-demand show, and how would have been proud of me no, for doing it. No, first of all, <laughs> it's not going to be an on-demand show, number one. It should be. Number two, it should be. Well, you know, sometimes you have to have some privacy somewhere in your life. I'm not uh, the, the friggin' Osbournes. I don't need everything on camera. But it would have been great, you yeah. know. But it always comes down to Howard. With, why? Why? Yeah, why can't I be the one to throw out the cum rags? Why? Why? Excuse me for why, being polite. Why not him, Howard? Why Gary? Why? Why not Sal? Oh. And then I remember he was obsessing over the phone. You said I'm at the special phone. Whoa. He goes, oh, right. 
a special. Yeah. And I, I don't even remember saying that. I envisioned that. it in a glass case and glowing. I'm like, wow. No, this guy's it's got not a... a special phone. It's a portable phone. That's what you said. But, but he heard special yeah, phone. Yeah, I was like, he's got a special phone. <laughs> it's like you walk You're in there. You're as gay as can be, dude. <laughs> I what do you like, think I've got in there? I, I would love to know. I got nothing. All right. I got an apartment like anyone else. Right? Ralph, and I, Ralph and I were saying that it is a beautiful apartment, but it's, it's not like, the, you know, like stuff doesn't come out of the windows. Yeah. And stuff doesn't come it's out a, of the it's ceiling. An apartment. It's an apartment. It's an apartment. It's pretty average. Well, it's an apartment I like to see. It's yeah. an apartment that he has never seen. Well, go see uh, Richard's apartment. I have. Good. You know, if you want to know how much a fan Sal is, when I was listening to the uh, Super Fan Roundtable, he sounds like King of All Blacks who was saying, Gary, you got to tell us, what did the sink look like in the bathroom? Moet Fawcett. <laughs> <laughs> and Jessica Hahn is on. Hi, baby. Hi. I was going to tell you um, just what Gary did, that he wanted to go through your underwear drawer, honey, and, and, and tell all the fans everything and go yeah. through the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he would have gone through all my things. Yeah, he would have been rifling your drawers. Yeah, I would have loved that. I wouldn't have stolen anything. I would have just explained it. But, Sal, that's so creepy. You were going to, like, lay in his bed and everything and tell her, all the fans what it felt like. and oh. That was bizarre. Howard, you should go home. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But let me, let's see. I mean, I'm feeling a little better right this second, so let me... Let me uh... Well, I'm well, proud of you. I, I think they would understand. I think so, too. Thank you, Jessica. Right. Yeah, thanks. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm sorry that I, I, you know, I was just a little hurt, and you should... I, Douchebag. I, I was hurt that I wasn't invited, and that's all. That's Douchebag. It's, it's, I don't don't be hurt. Douchebag don't be so much. hurt by what I do. All right, but it's just In embarrassing my when you hear it through the... Don't th ever be embarrassed. Hold your head up high. Be your own man. I am my own and man. And realize that other people don't define who you are. I don't define who you, are, who, you, who you is. Uh, Robin doesn't define who you is. And, and Fred doesn't define who you are. That's for sure. Oh. Right. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, you define who you are. I know Whether who you're I am. invited to anything I do doesn't define who you are. Well, apparently I'm now a leave. piece of crap. Yeah, you know? you, that you. that's again. What I am. Here you he defined goes. It. Now, well, he's, well, now he's a no. piece of crap. Yeah, well, he just said to me, well, "I'm never going to invite you to anything." No, I mean, my I'm psychologist not. said you should go to a psychiatric ward or whatever. No, I didn't say a psychiatric ward. All right, ward. I said my psychiatrist checked, and there's no way. All right. Very in, good. In, in, in well, then your psychiatrist needs a psychiatrist. No, no. He says he checked. He said, I said to him, is there a way Sal and I could ever come together? And he said, there's no way. You know what the there's thing no is? There's no way. It's just, some, it's, it's just a checked. party, but you're making me out to be a psycho and all this other garbage. They dug up. I was just curious if I could come to the party. But no, you got to step on Why me. Why like would a, you be at the party? Like I didn't invite the only like person. A format, you got to walk all over me. I don't know why. I invited I my just, family. And right. Robin. Where, where, that was it. Where, 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 no one else. Fred didn't go. Benji didn't go. Artie didn't go. So how does it Gary skip all those go? people and make you a piece of crap? Why I'm, would you be there? Was anybody curious? No. Did anybody care? No. Except for me. What? That's the difference. Fred didn't send an email out. Artie could give a shit. That's just the I'm point. The one, right. That's the point. You're right. You're sending I can emails. give a shit. I can care less. <laughs> you're sending it's emails. Right. Because you don't care enough. Because you're sick. <laughs> you care too much is the problem. Stay away from All right, me. I care leave too much. me alone. All right, fine. Do what you want to do. Get out of here and leave. It's a mistake. Whatever. Don't count on me when you need me, pal. Most normal people are scared to death of getting invited to a co-worker's family function. Right, yeah. First of all, <laughs> he had a nice weekend. Thank God he didn't have to go. Right. Going to somebody else's <laughs> kid's thing is such a pain in the but ass. But he would have known no one there. What was he going to do? He's going to stare at me and then report That's to right. you what, I, yeah. what it is I'm up to and tell the world everything I do. And, you know, the, the two seconds that I have uh, to enjoy my child and uh, this special day, I'll have Sal over my shoulder salivating. Yeah, he would have never left you alone. I'm no. just thinking about what it would have been like. He would have been, it would have been his dream to sit next to you and then poke you in the shoulder at every moment. Yeah. He is a loon. 
<laughs> what wouldn't he do for me? I, that, that's the game. That's the game. There's the bit right there. <laughs> would, Sal, really would, Sal, right. would Sal have converted to Judaism just to go to the bar mitzvah? If we said to him, you, the only way you can go is to convert to Judaism. You know, yeah. we were joking about that last night, and we both, everyone said yes. Yes, <laughs> In consensus, yeah. yeah. That's a no-brainer. I just remembered Sal was all bummed out the other day because you weren't at our sexual harassment meeting. Right. <gasps> like, he was like, oh, is Howard going to be there? That was the first thing he asked. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it's really sad. How'd that all go? Uh, it was interesting. A lot of jokes and a lot of... The food was real good. They show but, you a film? Uh, yeah, they showed like a slideshow and like a guy gra- oh, they grabbing asses Oh, they pictures of sexual stuff. harassment? Yeah. They had a guy grabbing a girl's ass? Uh, yeah, Was it a cartoon like that. guy or was it like no, a real No, it was shape? like people posed. Like he had it. It looked like, it, you know, like his hand was going towards an ass. Oh. Kind of stuff like that. Or like a woman looking at a guy's muscles and stuff like oh, that. Oh, a woman can't look at a guy's muscles even. No, it's well, if it's, if it's... What's a, great about it is, like, they got to be... They got to even be politically correct with the sexual. First of all, it's mostly guys sexually right, harassing right. women, but in order to make it fair, they have the woman now. Yeah, they had a scenario salivating over a man. Which wh- how many times does that happen? Yeah, work? a guy should only wish. <laughs> Artie, Artie had an incident last yeah, week. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I, I, some of the girls here are in, are undressing me with their eyes. <laughs> you should still, You know what you should do? You should strike like Les Moonves. Just get a phony baloney lawsuit oh, going be great. against one of the girls here. <laughs>